What is up YouTube, it's Lucid Alvar here today and we're going to be going over an updated weapon list with the top 4 weapons in their class in Kenshi. I thought it was unfair to grade them outside of their own classes so instead I'll talk about the pros and cons. So let's just hop straight into this. Up first is the Nagi Nata? I, I, I don't know, I'm going to butcher some of these names because I don't speak Japanese so yeah. Anyways, Naganata is the name of the stick with the pointy thing at the end. Thing is almost like a sex toy for wild animals. Just a couple pokes and they'll be going to heaven smiling and satisfied. And that's the guarantee on the label. Probably not the best selling point, but you get the point. Anyways, the Naganati is a great defense weapon. It, it's it got a lot of range, so you can keep people at bay. And it's quick, and it's quick block and attack speed let you absolutely dominate as well. Another big bonus is that the uh, weapon is actually extremely noob friendly. When you get a natural plus six, I believe, uh, you know, my my boy creature will put the stat bonus around here somewhere. He'll he'll put like the little box thing and everything. You know you know that thing that editors do really well. I he'll he'll do it right here. Thanks, man. Anyways, this means that you'll just give a random noob you bought from the slavers, and he'll go from a fat weeaboo trying to recreate what he saw in Naruto to uh, I I don't I don't know how to pronounce this. It's it's Shaolin. Sha Shaolin master in no time. Shaolin master. You know scripts are really hard to read. You know sometimes. what? You're just fucking illiterate. The main thing that separates this one from other polearms is that it's extremely fast, and you can really deal with some damage to animals with it as well. So you can give it to a newbie and just send them out because those bone dogs look like they're a hurting for squirting. Up to number three is we got our swords. You know you didn't see what I just did with my hands. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyways. We got our swords, and we have to go to the Nadachi. Nadachi is an odd name for an absolutely god dear, god tier dream sword. This is, this thing is so fast that it cuts through human flesh like butter. Cannibals, if you're watching this, you should get the sword. That it's fucking fast. I mean, in one attack animation, you can get three hits on the enemy to their one block. If you have the Meitu version of the Nadachi, congrats, you just won the game. It takes Avant. He's got pretty high stats, right? That's quite big. Impressive. But have you ever wondered why he was so powerful? It's because he's literally wielding the Meitu Nodachi, turning him into arguably one of the hardest bosses in the game. If you can, you know, if you could possibly get a ranged person in there, which is kind of hard because, you know, the acid rain and shit like that. You know, we're not talking about bosses, but. He is one of the hardest bosses to kill just because of that one fucking sword. And have fun trying to get it from him, because you're gonna, you're go, going back to the acid protection. You're gonna need some acid protection. He can just slice through that shit with ease. And if you don't bring armor, well, you better get ready to get your holes resized because you're gonna have a bad time. And that's the guarantee. The Eagle Cross. This is, this is the ranged weapons here. And you know, it was hard to choose between Old World and Eagle Cross. Eagle Cross actually just ended up taking it because I felt like it was better overall. And this is an odd one because instead of normal arrows, you shoot sticks at people at high velocities and kill them. And if you want accur the accuracy buff, you need to have the Eagle Eye DLC from EA for the small price of $29.99. Woo! Uh, I'm just playing. This is a great weapon for range especially if you're trying to be more uh, play a more stealthy playthrough and let me tell you can you launch a bolt so far up a guy's ass and he's gonna be tasting metal for a year too descriptive well that's what the box it came in said <sighs> these vendors in kenshi really have weird selling slogans I don't, I don't know what's up with them guys you know you're gonna have to tell them something sooner or later it's a great weapon with the ability to modify a lot i mean you only need 80 skill and a crossbow not that hard to attain no i'm just playing it's kind of hard to attain but um, most of the weapons in this list, except for the Naganati, because it's a new weapon, um, you know, it's it's just a higher skill. You know, you need more skill for it, like a bunch of the other weapons you need skill for. Anyways, back to the thing. I'm going to hand over to my boy CTM or Creature or whatever he's going to do today. Where is he? Uh, Damn it! Hello, hello, it is Creature, and today I have a question for you. Do you want to wield the power of God? That's right, today we're going to be talking about the Falling Sun. In all honesty, it is one of my most favorite weapons in this entire game, and it is an absolute monster to use. It just feels so good. 
This weapon weighs 88 pounds, so you're going to need a strong, strong boy in order to properly use this thing. Not to mention the fact that it will one-shot any non-boss enemy, and even if they are a boss, well, let's just say... Looking like a double-wide surprise. God damn. And if you have the stats to wield it, this thing will carry you throughout the entire game. And just, if you can actually connect to one of the attacks, you are going to decimate whoever is in your path. Just to kind of show how overpowered the Meitu version of this weapon is, the only place you can get it is from Mad Catlon himself. That's right, the disgraced and insane emperor of uh, Kenshi, of the Second Empire, is the only person who you can get this thing from. And you have to kill him to get this weapon. <laughs> Serious? In my opinion, and statistically speaking, it is the best weapon in the game if you have a solid strong boy. I was given the honor of wrapping up this video, so I'll do just that. Uh, if you want to see any more content like this, uh, just go over to my channel, CTM Creature, and you know, watch a little bit of the stuff. Subscribe. Also, subscribe to Lucid Alivar, and uh, thank you for letting me cameo here and edit and write the script and. Well, fuck him.